Hello and welcome to the CASPU Advanced Reporting Training Series. My name is Bahare and in part one of this series, we will be covering data grouping, interactive reporting features, and totals and aggregation. Then in part two of this series, I'll be covering calculated fields. Let's get started with a quick preview of what we're going to build today. In this example, we will be creating a sales report. So let me show you what it looks like by previewing it here. The report basically shows totals of sale amount and cost for each sales rep. Now I can go back and create that report. I'll click New Data Page and select Report Type Tabular. Click Next. I'm going to use the Sales View as my data source and enable Advanced Options. I'll show you later why I enable Advanced Options. Go Next. I don't need a search interface. I want to include all of the records in my table, so I choose filter data based on your predefined criteria. Go next to select filtering fields screen, and in this case, I won't include any fields in my filter because I want to pull up all the records from the table. On the next screen, I can choose which fields I want to include in my results page. I want to include everything so that I can see all of that data. On the next step, we are in the results configuration page. The first thing I want to do is group by salesperson, which in our example is the employee field. When I want to group by a field, I'll just click on the grouping tab and enable grouping by this field. I'll also choose the grouping display as desired, so I select collapsible group and expand it by default. Okay, that sounds good. On the next screen, I can choose how I want to order inside of those groups. The next thing I want to order um, is sales amount. As for the records per page, I can define the number as desired. Note that maximum number of records per page when you have grouping is 250 in respect of performance. Or you can choose user selectable to let my end user decide the number of records per page when they run the report. We can also enable some interactive options such as sorting by column title or by a drop-down list. And jump to page, which is useful when you have a lot of records on paging. Now click on Advanced tab. I want to allow my users to download a copy of this data whenever they want to. So I'll enable this Advanced feature. Click Next. I don't think I need a details page because I'm already using all of my fields in the results page. So click Finish. Let's take a look at what it looks like. When I preview my data page, we can see here that all of the individual records are grouped by sales rep, and that's perfect. And I have my download button up here if I wanted to download that data. Now let's format the sale amount and cost as currency and also add some totals to that results page. So edit the data page, go to configure results page fields screen, format the sale amount as custom and currency. Now I add a new total by clicking on the insert button and selecting totals and aggregation which in this case, I'm going to do total sale amount and cost. For the mathematical action of the aggregate, you can either choose a simple function from the function dropdown or create a formula using multiple aggregate functions. I go with simple sum function. In addition to performing calculations on all records, totals and aggregation can also be applied on subgroups. Let me apply the totals to my grouping so that I can also see the totals by each sales rep. Click Finish. When I preview the data page, I can see my totals for the specific sales rep as well as the grand total on the bottom. That concludes part one of the advanced reporting series. Please continue on to part two to learn how to add calculated fields for displaying the net profit and profit margin per sales rep. 
For additional videos and training material, please visit howto.caspio.com.